actually came across a, a lady. In fact, she kind of came across me in a way um, in the late 90s, um, who was called Christine Fitzgerald. And she was an accepted by the mainstream media, close friend of Princess Diana for uh, nine years. Then they fell out not long before she died. But um, I had a very long uh, conversation, in fact, too, with Christine Fitzgerald. I've still got the, uh, the recording on one of those reel-to-reel -reel <laughs> audio tapes that, that, that we had in those days. And she uh, told me um, how um, the British royal family treated her appallingly, wow. how she knew that she was just a brood mare to produce the genetics, and then once she'd done that, she was, she was out, which is exactly what happened. But she also uh, told me something else, Christine Fitzgerald. She uh, was a, kind of one of these natural healers, and Princess Diana used to go to, uh, to the clinic where she worked, and they became very close friends. And she said, what used to happen is that uh, what, she, what Christine Fitzgerald called friendly people from MI5 used to leave notes at the clinic because they knew that Diana would pick them up and read them. And she said one of the notes was that um, her life was in danger from the, um, the, 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 the plan, if you like, or yeah. the, the possibility she was going to be taken out in a car accident. And if you remember, um, sometime later, uh, her butler, after she died, her former butler, was named Burrell, came out and said that uh, Diana had, um, had said this, that um, she feared that um, she was going to be taken out in a, uh, in a car accident, which, which uh, she was. And, you know, again, when you look at the background to what happened in that punk Delma tunnel, um, it's absolutely obvious it was a setup. For instance, um, there were 17 uh, traffic cameras between the Ritz Hotel, where she started out with Dodie Fayed that night, very late, uh, and uh, to the Pont Dalma Tunnel. In fact, as I, I went there twice researching this, the Pont Dalma Tunnel had a camera right above mm -hmm. the entrance. <laughs> If you wanted to see the car come in and the so-called paparazzi following, then, okay, give us the tape. And there was another guy, uh, you know, these people that um, they listen to police radio and signals and yeah. communications. Well, there was a guy that night in Paris who was sitting on a bench near the um, Eiffel Tower, which is just across the river from the Pont d'Alma Tunnel, across the River Seine. And he said in that same period that night that uh, Diana was killed, all the um, traffic, the police communication traffic in Paris stopped. Wow. Uh, and so what we were told is these cameras weren't working on that night. What, 17 of them? Just like yes, Jeffrey Epstein's cameras didn't work. No. <laughs> it's, it's like the Clinton body count. It's just a coincidence, nothing to worry about. Yeah. I'm aligned with the planes. My grind's so refined, I got no time for no games. Ask yourself 